with a mixer in the middle. Even DJs that I hate, I love a little. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hello, beautiful people. This is Kathy Brocks for LUTG Radio. Amen. And it's uh, 6 or 1 a.m. this January 4th, 2013. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and showing up. Beautiful. Hey, you blessed. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, all right. Um, I'm gonna give you something that I just got. Uh, it was in a dream. Uh, hopefully, this is for somebody. Um, and it's because it relates to the scripture that we say every morning. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. Because remember, I told you the enemy cannot put anything on you, and uh, unless you receive it. So I had a dream that uh, a little girl, uh, that there was an accident. It was in a gas station. The car was pulling out of the gas station. All of a sudden, it went into a ditch and flipped over, completely flipped over. It was, you know, it was completely upside down. And I went to go turn it over, and uh, the thing, a uh, guy offered to help, but he couldn't get it. He couldn't reach us. And uh, he went to go get help. And um, I, I managed to turn it over because it was it was at an angle that you could you know those smaller cars it's so light you can flip them. So I was able to flip it. Thing flipped over. It turned into a gurney with a little girl strapped to it. And the little girl uh, she was able to move, but I was holding her her head and her neck so that you know just in case anything. But she looked fine because she had a seatbelt on. And um, so the little girl was strapped to the she was uh, strapped to the gurney. And then we're pushing a gurney, all of a sudden I started to hear these prognoses and these diagnoses, right? And they're telling the little girl she's sick, she's sick, she's crippled, she's sick. And the little girl, and this is so crazy, you could sense people's emotions and dreams. The little girl's like, no I'm not, no I'm not, I'm not sick. So the little girl starts asking for um, her toothbrush, because she was telling her to take a shower or not. She starts asking for her toothbrush. And the toothbrush is like, it's in a pink and bluish color container. And there's soaps, you know, girly pink Barbie doll stuff. And it's so funny. I was like, you know what? Kids are so amazing because they ain't sick. They don't receive sickness. They won't receive it. They just won't. So now faith is. That to me, I said, I tell you that because I don't believe you should receive anything that ain't yours. And as a part of the kingdom of God, sickness ain't yours. That that's just it. God gives you complete health, sound mind and body. So anytime somebody try and give you a diagnosis and they ain't even checked you out, they just start talking. Rebuke it. Don't receive it. Amen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. Amen. That's for me, for you, every Jew and every Gentile. Good morning, Jehovah. Thank you for this beautiful day. We hear from God and are led by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill our lives and surround us with your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your orders, the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you, Lord, for our comforter, the Holy Spirit, who leads us into all righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for you are hope. We should keep your word in our hearts and minds. We should love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for every mountain is moved. And every closed or blocked door that is hindered the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. We are healed in our bodies and minds. Any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now. The hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. 
For you, Lord Jehovah, our husband, made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Our spirits, our bodies, our spirits and bodies are not, I repeat, are not dumping grounds. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We are the beloved, believing you love us and receiving your love, not subject to temptations, submitting to your will, receiving your blessing in the name of your risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for we always have more than enough all the time. The kingdom of God is manifested in the earth among the redeemed people of God. God's people ask for his wisdom, amen, and receive it abundantly, and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people are, uh, have assured dwellings and quiet resting places. God's people are created and matter in the earth. I should say God's people have assured dwellings and quiet resting places. Praise the Lord. I thank you, Lord, that hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, you know, I was about to say that it's, it's, with, it's within their budget, but God, God has no limits, amen, and he'll always make sure that uh, it's paid for. Praise the Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. God's people are the created and matter in the earth. God's people light shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God. Jehovah our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God's people are made to live according to God's world, the one man cannot see. If God be for his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not take the attitude of defeat. Those who accept the feed do not know who they are, nor their position in the kingdom of heaven. We the people of God are not are we the people of God are not I'm sorry, we the people of God are the heads and not the tails, above and not beneath, going forward and not backwards. Beloved and the sign of God, we count it all joy when we go up against the giant. We ask God for wisdom and receive it abundantly, standing on the word of the kingdom for all things. We as God's people stand on the word of God, and all we believe in lines up with the word of God by his divine righteous order. God brings us his people health and healing and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but by love and honor in the name of God's risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior. Amen. And Jesus said unto them, Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Remember, faith, have faith. No matter what the situation is, have faith. Speak faith to it. And man, when you speak faith, you speak life to it. So don't receive any bad report by any doctor, any person, any spirit trying to whisper in your ear. Don't receive the bad report. Say, Jesus is alive, and I have health, healing, blessing, and prosperity. Amen. Through him. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I am blessed. And start calling your body parts healed, whole. It is whole. It is blessed. Amen. Do it, do it, do it. All right, y'all. Speaking of blessed, here we go. Blessed man by Braille. We got an article on the last uh, five minutes of the show, y'all. I feel so blessed, y'all. This track is incredible. S1. Huh. You can feel it. I'm a blessed man. Yes, man, I'm a blessed man. Right now, I'm a blessed man. Yes, man, I'm a blessed man. No question, I'm a blessed man. Yes, man, I'm a blessed man. You can feel it. You can feel it. So much joy. Ha -ha. It's like a dream come true. Like a sneak preview of the grand finale. I get a taste of heaven. It's like milk and honey. I was blessed with love before I had money. The things I love most, you can't take from me. I hold them close. The most high in my family. I might never get fortune and fame I'm always gonna say I've been a fortunate man And when they ask who I am I will stand up and say I'm a blessed man Yeah, yeah And when they ask where I'm at It don't matter, I'm with you I'm a blessed man Yeah, yeah And when they ask why I will point 
to the sky, I'm a blessed man. Yeah, yeah, yes, man, I'm a blessed man. Yeah, yes, man, I'm a blessed man. We walk through the park holding hands. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm a blessed man. You're so beautiful, the words escape me. Like the day I watch you give birth to our baby. You illuminate when I'm in a dark place. Bless my heart with a smile on your face. I'ma say it, my wife is hot. So it don't matter how much ice I got. I put a ring on a finger, leave it at that. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be where I'm at. If it wasn't for God, maybe we never would have met. But he brought us together, so there's no question we're blessed. I don't write many love songs, I'm sorry, girl. The truth is, I never hear beats worthy of it. But when the glove fits, I let the world know. I'm married to an angel and plan to stay faithful. And when they ask who I am, I will stand up and say I'm a blessed man Yeah, yeah, and when they ask where I'm at, it don't matter, I'm with you, I'm a blessed man Yeah, yeah, and when they ask why, I will point to the sky, I'm a blessed man Yeah, yeah, yes man, I'm a blessed man Yeah, yes man, I'm a blessed man As I sit back reflecting, it's obvious that my life's been protected. I had friends get murdered, I could have been there. Friends committed suicide, I could have went there. Depression, my life could have ended. I could have took a flight on September 11. Ah, life is fragile, we take it for granted. I'm thankful for the life I was handed. Christ stretched out his arms on the cross, offered me freedom at a tremendous cost. I can't accept the gift without repentance. I talk to God with expectancy. He said, ask for anything in the name of my son. If it's my will, then it will be done. I'm not praying for material possessions. Being close to God is the greatest blessing. Woo! And when they ask who I am, I will stand up and say, I'm a blessed man. Yeah, yeah. And when they ask where I'm at, it don't matter. I'm with you. I'm a blessed man. Yeah, yeah. And when they ask why, I will point to the sky, I'm a blessed man, yeah, yeah, yes man, I'm a blessed man, yeah, yes man, I'm a blessed man. And when they ask who I am, I will stand up and say, I'm a blessed man, yeah, yeah. And when they ask where I'm at, it don't matter, I'm with you, I'm a blessed man, yeah, yeah. And when they ask why, I will point to the sky, I'm a blessed man, yeah, yeah, yes man, I'm a blessed man.
Looking you for rest, you always help me. And on this pilgrim's progress.
And man, you got to be a soldier for Christ. That means you got to be on the front lines, baby, talking to people, telling them about Jesus. This is Kathy Brox for LUTG Radio. It's about the time, time for the altar call. Yep, yep. And who am I calling? I'm calling the unsaved. I'm calling the saved. I'm calling all those that are in office, those that have a, a, a leadership role. Get out the office, man. Get out the office. You don't need to be all up in there all the time. Assistance, get out the office. Don't just, you know, tell people about Christ that are already saved. Been saved for years. They so saved, they teaching. What you need to tell them about Christ for? They know. <laughs> Unless God gives you a word for them. Seriously. Seriously. Sometimes we get too comfortable being on the inside and we won't venture out to tell somebody about Christ. Sometimes we, we, because I guess we see so well that we'll see people's sins before we see them. And we don't want to talk to them. Because, ooh, they too sinful, child. God done gave them over to their sins. Not if you in front of them. No, he didn't. If you in front of them, ain't no way he gave them over. Because, hello, you the seed. You either the seeder, you the one that plants the seed, or you're the one that reaps the harvest. So you got to get out there and plant seeds of, of God, of the gospel, or, amen, gather the seeds, because these seeds are white, baby. That means they're about to go rotten. So what you going to do? You going to wait for them to smell like perfume, or you going to walk up to them now and say, hey, Jesus loves you. Come on to church with me. You know what? Can I tell you about my, will you allow me to tell you about my Jesus? He loves you. Say something. Plant a seed. I and uh, just know that uh, folks that God so loved loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that through Him the world might be saved. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. You like oh, so once they get saved, they straight right? They ain't got to worry about sin no more. Your soul is saved, but you still got a little more work to do. Which means you got to read about who you are in Christ Jesus and start the conversation with God. You got to start the conversation because he's just been sitting at the table, like I said before, waiting for you to come to the table. He there. He's like, okay, I'm here. All right, what you got to say? Come on, come on. See, whatever you say is not wrong. You just learn it. So just open your mouth and speak. It don't have to be all perfect. Just speak. Right now you can open your mouth and repeat this prayer confession after me so we can get you to the table. Here we go. Lord, I know I am a sinner. I know I can't earn or buy my way into heaven. I want to know your pure love. Lord, I freely accept Jesus Christ as my Savior and Lord of my life. From this day forward, I give my life to you, Jesus. Direct me in all my ways and keep me on your righteous path. I have faith in the blood of Jesus. Set me in an atmosphere of learning in a Bible-based church. In your name, Jesus, thank you. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Jesus, glory to God, you are saved. Amen. Now go to facebook.com forward slash LUTG radio. Click on the link, find the church, and uh, you'll be able to go take the, uh, get the baptism with water, baptism with the Holy Spirit, just like Jesus did, just like I did. And you'll also uh, take the foundation classes. Um... And that prayer intercessory class, you need those. Those are two very important classes, all right? And uh, they're generally, they're basically free. Uh, you may have, for the intercessory class, you may have to pay for a book. Um, but if you don't have it, let them know. They'll, you know, that works them out with you. All right, and then, um, uh, we believe that you'll have the money, amen, if it's something charged for. It. And then uh, your prayer template is uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 7 through 13. And uh, some more information on uh, your blessings in the kingdom is called the Beatitudes. It's uh, chapter 5 of Matthew. Come back for the next segment, which is My Peace, Baby. Amen. Remember, Jesus loves you, beautiful. Come back and uh, thank you. Enjoy the music. I hope you enjoy the show. Let me know. Hit me up on chat, all right? All right. All right, y'all. Follow me to the next segment. Amen, amen, amen. Follow me. This Kathy Brock for LUTG Radio. Love y'all.